Today, let's go through the cheat sheet of Google Cloud Services for Big Data Analytics. I used this data lifecycle solution as my last minute cheat sheet for both the GCP PCA and the PDE exams. I strongly recommend you to read the whole article. I will point out the key points for both certification exams and I will make the follow-up last-minute cheat sheet series of the service that's led to deep dive for the exams. The Google Cloud provides a four steps data life cycle. Both the certification exams will test your understanding on these four steps and choose the right cloud service in the different user scenarios. Let's open the Google Cloud products list in another browser. I'll circle the service that appear in my certification exams for your reference. In the ingesting app data, one of the important app data is log data from apps running on Google Cloud. At the time of recording this video, Google certification exam still using Stack Drive. Stack Drive has monitoring, logging, trace, error reporting, and debug. I highlight the key points to remember for the exams. Monitoring, which has the alert included, logging for the real-time logs, error reporting for the application errors, debug for debugging code in production, Tracer for find performance bottleneck. You will also have the questions on how to use the logging or monitoring agents in the PDE exam. In this section pops up for real-time messaging. Well, GCP PCA exam focuses on the data flow architecture. For example, ingesting data from pops up transforming data on data flow, then loading the data on BigQuery for analytics. I highlight here that PubStop and the data flow, they can work in together to strict message ordering. But in the PDE exam, we'll test your ability to design the data pipeline and the processing solution, so I will make another cheat sheet on the PubSub for PDE exam. Move to the next one, how to ingest bulk data and compare the difference of four ways to transport data. In general, if you see question about transforming 10 terabytes data from on-prem to Google Cloud, the first way is to use a transfer appliance. If you make a backup from another GCP bucket or AWS S3, then use a storage transfer service. BigQuery Data Transfer Service is used to transfer data from another Google SaaS, for example, Google Ads, YouTube, to BigQuery for analytics. GSUTO command is usually used to transfer of large numbers of files by using the multi-threading option for less than a few terabytes of data. Now at a step two, store data. For details of storage and database decision, please review the video GCP PCA last minute cheat sheet on storage and database decision tree. You will have questions on choosing the right storage class for, from Google Storage. So please spend some time to understand each store class's availability and its cost. There are two choices for relational database, Cloud SQL and Spanner from Google Cloud. Highlight the key points for PCA exam. Cloud SQL supports workloads up to 30 terabytes for both MySQL and PostgreSQL. 
You can install the database in the Google Compute Engine if the version number isn't supported by Cloud SQL. I did have this kind of question in my PCA exam. The key point for the spanner is that spanner can horizontally scale out. Now move it to NoSQL databases. Key points for big table, consistent no latency in the high throughput for terabyte to petabyte scale workload. For the PCA exam, you only needed to understand big tables user cases. For PDE exam, you needed to understand the schema design such as 12 verse wide schemas and the best practice on the big table. The other NoSQL choice from Google Manager Service is FileStore. FileStore has the native and a data store modes. At the time of recording this video, Google certification exams still using data store in the exam. I'll make a cheat sheet on the two modes and the difference between big table and data store. At step three, data process and analyze. Google provides the comparison among Cloud Data Pro, Cloud Data Flow, and the Cloud Data Prep. The information listed in the article is not enough to pass the PDE exam, so I will make the cheat sheet on these three services. The same thing on BigQuery. We do need to dive deep on the BigQuery to pass the PDE exam, so stay tuned for the BigQuery cheat sheet. Understanding data with machine learning provides a good instruction on each machine learning API for GCP PCA exam, but it is not good enough for the PDE exam. Again, please stay tuned for the video of machine learning cheat sheet. The last step is to explore and visualize data. You only need to understand the basic knowledge on data lab, Looker and the Data Studio. To incorporate all of the above steps and operate the data workflow, you will use the orchestration service. Any question you see in the third exams on the data workflow orchestration, the correct answer will be Data Composer. Thanks for watching and as always subscribe to my channel for more great cloud computing learning tips. Thank you.